Wow. So at what point did you were you introduced to the genre of gospel music? I, I mean, the only gospel music I ever really heard growing up was quartets on the radio, from the southern stuff. I didn't, uh, I didn't think anything about gospel music. I never thought anything about gospel music. I, I met Jesus. I came into a relationship with Him. I turned my life over to Him. I got, I would, I like to say, radically saved. I quit everything. I quit the nightclubs. I quit the bands. I went to work in a mission with other musicians and working with drug addicts and, and I got saved and then when I got saved uh, we started it was right at the beginning of the Jesus movement and I started hearing other people who were Christians that were doing professional musicians that were doing records like uh, let's see there was the group love song and then of course I heard Andre Crouch the disciples they had a record out called Keep On Singing and I, and I heard and I started listening to you know the different music that was going on and it, this was early 1972. So the Coffee Table Magazine is my contribution to the world. It's a celebratory publication where we not only celebrate gospel music but we embrace and salute the contributors of the genre. You know, every story in the Coffee Table magazine, you know, is worthy of this salute and more, you know. So I just beseech you or, you know, I encourage you to go get the Coffee Table magazine. I'm sure you're going to enjoy something.